this is what you can catch us doing a hundred times a day. <laughs> because I don't know if this puppy just has a small bladder or what, but he can only make it an hour. Sometimes hour 15, hour and a half, if we're really lucky. And yeah, now I have to pick up some shit. So hold on, hold that thought. <laughs> How cute are my little shit bags? <laughs> so this is my life, guys. There. This is also my life. <laughs> he doesn't know how to walk. So we have these bushes in front, you guys. And he's got this personal vendetta against them, okay? So he just jumps through them and rolls on top of them. Because he gets crazy after he poops. So that's why I tie him to a tree so he doesn't roll in his poop. You gonna go check out your bushes? There. See? Oh, there he goes. Hey. What did that bush ever do to you? Okay. Come on. It's my older one. Hi, Rosie. Yeah, what do you have? So, when did you try apples? Were we making apple crisp? Yeah. And did you get a gold star? Yeah. Yeah, we'll have to tell the friends on YouTube about your star chart. Yeah. Look how big this girl's getting. My goodness. And now she's trying new foods. Why are you trying some new foods? Because I'm gonna get home McDonald's. Well, yes, you'll get McDonald's, but are you earning stars for your birthday party? Yeah. What kind of birthday party are you gonna have? Nightmare for Christmas. A nightmare before Christmas because you're gonna be four. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Okay. Bear's always gotta be up in our business, doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Here's the famous star chart that we made. Rosie needed to work on a good attitude. These are the presents she wanted and the, some of the decorations. It's an alien baby right there. <laughs> Gotcha. I can see it. I actually am gonna insert here the vlog. It's very short from the day we got bear. Wow. 
What did you name your puppy? I named Poopy. Him? His name is Bear? Yeah. In other news, I've been trying to make the best use of our space and I've changed some things around in our apartment. We sent this dresser with my parents that was over here because that was my grandma and grandpa's. And then this one I have sold on Marketplace. And then we swapped it for this one It's from Ikea. We also got Rosalie a bed from Ikea. I'll show you guys that in just a second. I think for this wall, I'm gonna put like hats because I've seen super cute stuff on Instagram where people just make their hats wall decor. Honestly, so cute. Oh, we got Rosalie a really big girl bed. It's like a toddler bed from Ikea. So I saw this bed frame on Carissa Nunez cleaning channel. She does a lot of like makeovers and she did a makeover for her daughter's bedroom and she got them both this bed frame from Ikea. And it was really cute and only $100. And then I also got like a $100 mattress. So it was like a $200 setup, perfect for what we needed and we don't have very much space, so I've just been trying to make the best use of our space. Her mattress was just on the floor before, and I want her to enjoy her space because since we have a baby on the way, as you guys will know, Rosalie cannot be sleeping in bed with us anymore. Um, she needs to stay in her big girl bed. And so I feel like if we make the space more her own, because it's Zach's office as well, so she doesn't get to spend that much time in her room as it is, and so she can't really make it her own space. I thought that these would work to help her enjoy her space, and she gets to make her bed. Obviously she could make her bed before, but it's less fun if it's less pretty, you know? 
she's actually been doing really well staying in her bed. That's a part of her earning gold stars as well because we need to sleep. And it'll be even more important when we have a newborn. Yeah, there's been a lot of, I guess you could call it bribery, but she needs some, some motivation. Oh, I know what else I was gonna tell you guys about. Do you see my skin? It might be pregnancy. I have to put that disclaimer in because hormones, after I have Rosalie was my first ever experience with bad skin in general, but I got cystic acne and that's hormonal acne. It's, it was definitely caused from a change in my hormones after I had Rosalie. Ever since I got pregnant, I started taking a prenatal and I have a whole new skincare routine that's changed the game. I'm sure you guys have heard of Tula before. Everyone on YouTube talks about Tula and there's a reason for that. So I'll show you guys my skincare routine real quick because my skin's really cleared up. I still have some scarring. Okay, so here's a close up pillar. <laughs> Hi, Nern. I still have scarring. Obviously I have makeup on, but like when I don't have makeup on, I have these spots and they're pretty red. I don't have active breakouts anymore. Well, I mean, I have little tiny zits every once in a while, but since I've been pregnant, my skin's been amazing and I'm so thankful. It wasn't even necessarily since I've been pregnant. It was after I started using my new skincare stuff. So this is everything that I've been using that's changed the skincare game for me. This is the Tula Cult Classic Cleanser. I'm sure you've heard of it. The Watermelon Glow Pore Tight Toner with PHA and BHA. Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. And then by Innisfree, this Dewy Glow Jelly Cream. All <laughs> things I learned about on TikTok. And then this is the Vanity Planet brush. I literally love this routine. It's been working so well for me. And speaking of other products, I've had so many people ask me about my curls and how I get them the way I do. This is the Hot Tools X Large Curling Wand. You guys, if I never put you on anything in your whole life, buy this. I will never use anything else, ever. And a lot of times, I just curl my hair once and then the curls last me for like four to five days until I wash it because I don't wash my hair every day. My hair like doesn't hold curl well. So if your hair doesn't hold curl, get the Hot Tools curling wand and thank me later. You're welcome. Okay, you ready for bumps in your hair? Like when you're at Boss Grandma's with Veda? Yeah, with Veda when I was playing hide and seek. Okay, we can do buns like that. Then you can pick out some bows. Anybody else's kids take 10,000 years to eat one apple? Let's see your buns. Oh, awfully cute, sister. Hey, Rosie, how old are you? Three years old. How many fingers is that? There you go, that's three, isn't it? I'm three years old. Can you blow a kiss to the vlog? 
say we missed you, vlog. We missed you, vlog. We missed everybody, huh? Mm -hmm. But we're back now. Say we're back and better than ever. We're back and ever and ever. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> Just brewed an extra pot of coffee because... Because Zach actually got his first COVID shot yesterday and he is feeling pretty tired today. So, made us a fresh pot of coffee and then I'm about to conquer this laundry. We just got back from the park. We're ending the night with Chipotle. All right, you guys, it is bedtime. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and sign out for the night. Zach and I are going to finish watching Hitchcock. It's a superhero movie with Will Smith. I'm trying to keep my vlogs shorter, so keeping them in one day instead of like three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up because it really supports my channel and comment down below. Is there a reason you're interrupting my outro? Oh, I thought you were posting about that. What? I was wondering what you were doing. I was like, what's she talking to? You don't listen to me when I'm talking. You would know that I'm signing out of a vlog. If you listen to me when I'm talking to you, but you just don't, do you? <laughs> Anybody else's husband struggle to listen? Mine does. Selective hearing, am I right? Busted! Anyway, anywho, comment down below your favorite part. I know you guys are probably in love with our new puppy dog, Bear. I'll talk to you guys really soon. I'm feeling a lot better, in case anyone was worried, because I know my last actual vlog, I was crying and <laughs> pretty upset. I know now that it was it's definitely been the hormones that have been contributing to that, but it's also just been a hard year, so I gave myself the space I needed, and I'm feeling a hundred times better. So thanks for those of you who reached out and asked. I do appreciate you guys and I'm just so thankful. We'll talk really soon. Bye.